So in this video, I'm going to go over some health informatic interview questions that can be used to prepare for a job role in the health informatics field. So question number one, do you have experience collaborating with a multidisciplinary team to advance a project outcome? So in this question, I might be looking to see if you have the ability to speak to times where you've worked with people from different career backgrounds to carry out a project. And this would be key to highlight if asked this question. So oftentimes the health informatics role can be described as the analytical translator. And this is a term that was coined from a McKinsey article that describes the healthcare analyst role to the T. One day you might be meeting with clinicians who would like a dashboard or report built, and you need to work with them to flesh out the requirements. Then you might meet with a developer or IT to communicate the insights of the clinicians and report on the certain clinical metrics you want to be showcased on a dashboard or report. Question number two is, can you provide examples of how you've used data visualizations to present data to an audience who had limited expertise in your field? So in this question, I might be looking to see when it comes to the role of the healthcare data analyst, if you have experience with tools such as Power BI, Tableau, or Click listed in the job roles, if you have experience um, building reports or dashboards using these tools, it would be good to highlight your expertise. In addition, if you have experience presenting these data visualizations to a non-technical audience, this would be good to highlight because being able to convey information to a diverse audience those who might be clinicians or in management is key in this role to help them make decisions. Another question you might get in the health informatic interview is do you have experience monitoring or developing key performance indicators to evaluate, to evaluate clinical performance? Again, this might, question might be for roles that are very analytical in nature, but having an understanding of common clinical metrics, such as readmission rates or patient satisfaction scores, that might be measured or observed at the healthcare organization you're applying to would be beneficial. When I was applying for health informatic roles, I would always take some time to go on the organization's website and understand their mission and strategic plan. As an increasing number of organizations are beginning to focus on analytics and monitoring the indicators tracked within their organization. Therefore, having knowledge of this and some of the common and important metrics that are key for the organization you're interviewing for is great to mention when you're interviewing. Also describing the process of how you went about developing these key indicators would be good to highlight if you have prior experience doing this. So if you worked on a team and had to, for example, engage stakeholders and get their feedback on what would be relevant metrics, understanding the process that you went out to carry out this feedback is also key to including your response. So to summarize, um, some of the common key requirements for most health informatic jobs I've observed are understanding of clinical terminology, experience dealing with large clinical data sets to drive decision making, experience writing SQL queries, and experience with data visualization tools such as Power BI, Tableau, Click, and then experience working with a multidisciplinary team. And the last two questions that I've have here are, do you have expertise writing SQL queries and describe a project where you utilize data visualization tools? So in these last two questions, these are very technical in nature. You know, being able to mention that you use certain aggregation functions in SQL, such as min, max, average, and then actually speaking to how you used these data visualization tools is key when asked in the health informatic interview. So oftentimes I'll get this question from listeners of the Health Analytic Insights podcast, which is a podcast I ran, helping people to transition into the health informatics field. Many times listeners would ask me, what job should I even be searching for? I don't even know where to start. And this makes a lot of sense because this field is relatively new and doesn't tend to have established titles such as you know, project manager or business analyst. Therefore, I advise people to search for a technical tool they might have expertise in, 
plus the word healthcare. So for example, one can enter in the search box of Indeed or LinkedIn Jobs, Power BI plus healthcare. And once you start to search enough, you start to see some common job titles. They tend to have the title analyst in them. So for example, I have some listed on the screen here, clinical systems analyst, EHR analyst, information system analyst, clinical decision support analyst, and the application analyst role might be common job titles that exist where you live. So another tip is if you currently work in a clinical or healthcare organization, you might want to see if your organization has a business intelligence or a clinical decision support department and see the roles within this department. And if you have a chance, try to job shadow for some of these roles so you can either identify any technical skill gaps you might have, it might be solved by taking a relevant course to improve your job application. And of course, we can't forget the use of ChatGPT. This is commonly used to help aid your job search. You could list some of the common job skills I listed, such as understanding of clinical terminology, experience dealing with large clinical data sets to drive decision making, experience with writing SQL queries, experience with data visualization tools such as Power BI, Tableau, or Click, and experience working with a multidisciplinary team. You can put these job common job listings that you see in the roles that you search for on LinkedIn or Indeed and put that right into ChatGPT and see what job postings are also outputted. So this is a comment that I recently received of a list from a listener of the Health Analytic Insights podcast. And she had written to me that um, for her panel interview, for a role that she was applying for in the health informatics field, she has to prepare a presentation on a complete data analyst project that she's done. And she was commenting to me that she did not feel prepared because she doesn't have any strong projects to showcase. And so I asked the question to you, you can write this in the comments section below, would you feel prepared for this role? For me personally, I feel that when I was first starting out, I wouldn't have felt comfortable attending this interview because of my lack of experience building data projects with a clinical perspective. And so I would really suggest to you when you're looking to increase your chances of getting an interview, try and create your own clinical business intelligence portfolio project. So it can get to hiring managers that you have the skills to get you in the door and get you that first interview. So one of the major hurdles to creating a portfolio project with a clinical perspective is the lack of open source clinical data sets, which exists, of course, because of the risk of releasing personal health information publicly. There you can, therefore, you can find tons of data analytical courses using the popular Microsoft AdventureWorks data set, but it's much harder to find an analytical course with a clinical lens. And this is something that I struggled with when I first pivoted into this field. And as a result, I created an online course with a clinically focused data set, which uses fake dummy data, which you can use to create your own portfolio project. I will also walk you through in detail how to write common SQL queries. And we walk through step-by-step -step on how you can build your own hospital key performance indicator dashboard using Power BI. As a result of completing this course, you can showcase this dashboard with a unique link that can be embedded in a professional blog or hyperlinked in your resume for hiring managers to see the initiative you took to get that first role and hopefully increase your chances of getting that first interview. Completing this course will provide you with an opportunity to speak to the specific data cleansing methods you applied and the overall technical skills you have developed. So check the description box where I have a link to the course and fast track your way to getting that first interview for the health informatics job role. So although getting a job can be equal parts timing and luck, just throwing your resume into the void of LinkedIn or Indeed can feel like you're not even moving the needle. Instead, you can consider developing your technical skills in Power BI and SQL by creating a portfolio project with a clinical lens to help develop and showcase your technical skills, especially if you already have a strong background as a nurse or pharmacy technician. 
So I just want to end up on some ways that you can potentially improve your resume and make it more attractive to hiring managers. I've had the opportunity to review several resumes from individuals looking to break into the field. And what I often see is a simple listing of Power BI or SQL in their skill section of the resume. So again, I would hearken back to being able to showcase that you have concrete proof of your proficiency with these technical tools. By either taking a course or creating a project uh, can be a boost for your application, especially in this competitive job market. Another thing I would suggest is to add a resume summary and list any technical skills you have gained through self-learning or taking classes. Vice versa, if you have technical skills and you're looking to work in a healthcare organization, highlighting in your resume summary any volunteering or internships you've done within a healthcare organization would be good to emphasize. Another thing I wanted to highlight is that I've had the opportunity to review several resumes from clinical individuals looking to pivot into the technical field. And sometimes they forget to include the experience they have with each our systems, such as Epic or Cerno, especially if they had a super user role. So they had additional training on these systems and might have trained other clinical staff. This is really valuable to include on your resume, especially if you're applying for the application analyst role. And then finally, linking to any course or portfolio project you might have done in your resume might be a great way to stand out to employers. So I hope these tips have been helpful. If you are in the middle of hiring and you have received any questions, please link to them in the comment section below. I'd love to create a master list of different job questions that people have received. So thank you for listening to this video. And don't forget to check the description box for a link to the portfolio project course. Thanks and have a nice day.